from Jimmy Bean's Wall, and I am going to, we're downstairs in my yarn room, um, and I thought I would share a few trips, or a few, excuse me, tips and tricks with you uh, um, as I'm working through one of my projects. So this is the Art Yarn Super Merino Machine Washable Yarn. Um, it's hand dyed. This is color 109, I think, and I'm knitting a little cardigan, a hooded cardigan for a friend of mine who's going to have a baby soon. So one of the things that, um, since this is going to take probably four balls of yarn, obviously I'm going to have to change balls, and then I'm going to have ends to weave in um, at the very end of my project. So I thought I would just show you how I weave ends in, and I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way, but it seems to work, and nobody's called me to tell me that um, their project has come, or their gift has come unraveled, so <laughs> I guess it works okay. So if you want to zoom in, I will, uh, I'll show you what I was doing. We good? Okay, so I actually, this is the cast on edge. Um, I started the project from the very bottom per the directions. It was a knitting pure and simple free pattern on her website. Um, and so this is what's left over from my long tail cast on. I did a pretty good job, huh? There's not that much left over. So I always tie it in knots because that's just the way I am. Um, so, you know, this is about how much yarn I have left over. I don't really need this much. I probably only need about half of that. Maybe about six inches. And so I'm going to put it through my darning needle. And the way, if you have a big eyed needle like this, can you see that? Um, the way that I get it through this hole right here, through the eye, is flip the yarn over like that and pull it tight with my fingers and then slip that out and then I can kind of shimmy it through there and then just pull the end out and all of a sudden it's threaded. So I thread the yarn through the needle and then what I'm going to do, I'm on the wrong side of the garment. Um, this is garter stitch on both sides just so you know um, but I'm on the, the wrong side and what I do is I try to stay relatively close to the edge. I'm going to try and do this with my left hand. And I just go through, I don't know if you can see that, but I just kind of go through the stitches. Not so far through that you can see it from the front, but only just halfway through with my needle. Like that. So see there, but on this side, you can't see that. Is it showing up? Okay, and then I just pull it through, you know, and pull it relatively tight, and then I'm going to go back and form a U. In other words, you know, I'm going up, and then I go back down. And again, you can't see it on that side. You don't want to be able to see it. I'll pull that through, and then I usually make an S. So I usually go up, down, and then back up again. And I just go right through it. And what will happen is, even though this is a machine washable yarn, over time, with like, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, um, this is going to kind of felt into the fabric. So look, I mean, you can't even, I mean, you can see it, I guess, a little bit if you know what to look for. But my theory is, if you're looking at it this hard, you're looking too hard. Um, and then I just, you know, I pull it a little bit tight, and then cut the end off, like that. That goes in the trash. I know some people keep them, but... And there you go. So that's the end. And that's what I'm going to do throughout the entire thing. You can zoom out if you want. Um, so again, I mean, now you can't see it. You can't see it from the front. You can't see it from the back. I mean, yeah, this little end is probably going to stick out at some point, but that's just the way it is. It's hand knit, right? And they're, you know, it's for a two-year-old. How long are they going to wear it? All right, so that's how I sew ends in. So what do I need? You know, I use these little chibi clover needles, darning needles. I just like to have a big eye. So whether you get one that's sharp or blunt or plastic, whatever, that works. You know, my little handy scissors that I have to do this with, otherwise I'll cut my fingers off. Um, and that's really all you need. And then, you know, if you do it that way, it doesn't take very long and it's pretty simple. So I'm Laura from Jimmy Bean's Wool. Thanks for visiting my yarn room, and I hope that was helpful. Thanks. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night.
kids on the corner stuck in a switchblade fight and the rock and roll bands play for the girls on the 